So what did I tell you? You know that sometimes persistence pays off. And you wanna know why? <sighs> Look at this. Oh my God. All right, boys and girls, I got lucky. I'm in. There was actually a hole in the fence. I don't know if somebody opened it, because I didn't see it last time I was here, but I got in. So I'm right here, look. You can see the, 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 the place right behind me. I'm in the woods. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get my way into the building over here without anybody noticing me. So far, so good, guys. So I'm just kind of following a path here in the back. It seems that... Whoa. It seems that I've not been the only one who thought about coming here. Check this out. Someone actually made a ladder and they got some climbing rope. I don't know if this is graffiti artists or what, or actually people working on the building, but we're gonna go around. Just gotta go this way to get into the opening. Now I'm gonna be in the clear here. I gotta be careful that if any cops come by, they don't see me. All right, so let's go continue. This is definitely well this solid. Okay, this floor seems to be cracking. I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, get around the corner. I'll be back in a sec. I just nobody sees me from across the street, but. This place is locked up. I thought I, I thought it had an opening. I really thought it had an opening. But they got it. They got it locked up. Okay, I'm gonna take a look around a, a little bit more. This turned out to be another fail. At least it didn't waste too much of my time. They really have this place barred up. And I'm sweating like a pig right now. I guess that's why somebody has the, uh, the ladder built over there to climb. But I'm not gonna take a chance climbing that rope in case it breaks. Besides, I don't think I can lift my own weight anyway. The only place I found that I can go in is this hole right here into this little building right here but I don't even really think it's worth going in there there's nothing in there to see and it smells like crap so I'm not going in there to smell crap I'm gonna scout out around here just a little bit more but I don't think I'm gonna get in which is okay because I have a fallback plan I have another place that I know 100% I can get in as long as there's no security in the front. So I don't know if I'm on crack or I am hallucinating most of the time, but I just came to my the second location that I was gonna get into and for some reason, I thought I saw a huge hole in the wall of the building. And I get here, there's no hole. <laughs> So I don't know what the F I'm going to do. <sighs> this truck's going by all the time. I don't even know what I'm doing sitting right here. I'm right kind of out in the open. Anybody can see me if they're looking this way. But uh, there is a hole over there that goes down the basement. But I didn't, it's too dark. I have to break out my flashlight to see if I can sneak down. And to see if it's doable or not. 
Now the only thing I'm worrying about is me stepping on something like a nail or something like that because I don't have any heavy duty sneakers and the way these are tied up they just fall off my feet. And I circled around and the only other place I can sneak into is a bro broken windows that are located in the uh, the, the, the big sliding doors and my ass won't fit through that and I won't take a chance so I'm gonna circle back around I'm gonna use my little tiny flashlight that I have because that's all I have and like so unprepared and if this doesn't work I'm determined to fucking fi well, excuse my language I'm determined to find a place uh, where I can go there's still a couple of places I can check out. I got the whole day here. So I'm determined to get into a place. Even if I get caught, I don't give a shit. I'm determined to get in. Oh, there's there's people over there. I hope they didn't want to hear me. I'm gonna get the fuck out. I'm gonna get out of here before they, they come by and see me. I just came underneath the fucking bridge here. I hope nobody sees me. But I'm like, what the fuck is this? There's like fur pelts and some kind of makeshift house for fucking animals or something. I don't know what this is. What is this? Huh? This is fucking weird. There's bales of hay, there's a blanket. like a bunch of fur or coat. I don't know what the fuck that is. But it looks like somebody must have been sleeping down here. All right. I'm gonna try and check out that basement. I keep hitting this button. I'm trying to see if I can get into that basement. If I can't, then it's round two, okay? Then I gotta try to get out here without getting noticed by all of the traffic that's coming in and out because they got a pump station right in front of this building that uh, it's, it's heavy traffic. But I'm gonna play cool. I'm gonna walk out like nothing happened. Hopefully nobody will see me. All right, wish me luck again. I can't believe the day is going like this so far. <laughs> but I'm determined. I am determined. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is where the basement is. I'm gonna shine my light down here. Gotta make sure that no one sees me. This is the little light I have. Oh, it's damn high. Yeah, if I get in there, I wouldn't probably be able to get out. Because I, I don't even know if that leads anywhere upstairs. Oh, damn it. Okay, so, failed too. That's fine. It's not a problem. If I would, even if I had somebody with me, it wouldn't matter anyway because neither of us would be able to get in. So now it's just to get out of here nonchalantly, make it back to the car. I need some air conditioning and some water ASAP. I'm dehydrating very quickly. Okay, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Hit that like button, guys. I need your support to keep this going. I'm gonna do it anyway.
but I would like to know that you guys are interested in being a part of my team and following me on this journey of urban exploration. If I can't get into any of the places here in the city of, the Mont of Montreal and everything is locked up like Fort Knox, there's plenty of other places outside the city that are abandoned that I can get into. Hi guys, mission not accomplished yet. I went to the uh, military base and apparently they have um, urbanized it all. Yep, it's all gone. Now there was supposed to be a couple of buildings there but it's, if it is, I think it's right next to the police station. And I was kind of like sitting on the, parked on the corner and the cops were driving back and forth, staring at me. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna take a chance. But I'm in another industrial area right here. As you can see, there's abandoned buildings here and there's another one just over this way. Now, I don't know again if I can get into them. This one here does seem to be pretty nailed shut. The other one, you might have to climb on the roof, but I don't know if I should take a chance climbing on the roof in the broad daylight. There's still people around. Um, I'm thinking that if I'm going to try and do it, I'm going to wait till it gets dark. But I've been up since 4.30 this morning driving, going to places trying to get in, and so far I haven't been successful. And I'm starting to get a little exhausted. <laughs> All right, so I'm over at the other building. As you can see here, uh, there's a path that goes down there you gotta kind of crawl but you really can't get into the building because all the windows are all barred but I can kind of give you an idea what it looks like in here you can see in there a little bit so and also here's a, the gate where I came in through there's just one side of the place. So I'm gonna continue looking very carefully to make sure that uh, I don't get caught here. Wow, there's a lot of garbage here. Lots of garbage. It's like helmets and you know, safety helmets and just garbage. Okay, so let's head on back through here. From here, so I just gotta go over here, and this all this dirt kind of blocks me, so nobody sees me. As, if we can take a look in here as well, I don't know if you see anything. I'm not gonna put my camera in there just in case I drop it. I have to be very careful where I walk just in case any nails are around. This looks like some people have tried to break the lock here. They doubled it with a really strong chain, but you can see a little bit of the place in there. I'm pretty sure that this place is inaccessible as well. You might have to climb the roof to get through some of the windows. Let's just see here. Maybe there, there is actually a door. This has been nailed shut. Again, you can see that somebody has been trying to be away at this. Maybe it's stuck. No, it is it's stuck good. All right. So that area is inaccessible. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all nailed shut. see a little bit of the, the docking bay in there. It'd be really cool if we can get in there. You 
open this door, I'm pretty sure it's inaccessible. Press the button, I'm sure it doesn't work. Okay. So I'm gonna take a look around a little bit more. And if I find something, of course I'm gonna film it, okay? I tell you, today is hot and there's no day for our long sleeve and I'm starting to smell really bad right now from all the sweating. But it's kind of necessary because I don't want insects to eat me up too badly. So I'm kind of checked this whole perimeter, unaccessible. They had stairs here, but they took it away. You can see up here in the corner a bit. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Now, the closer I go this way, the closer to the front row where everybody's gonna be able to see me. So, I know on the other side, there's a lot of overgrown grass and a lot of doors. There's also businesses on the other side, but most of them might be closed. And again, because I'm in total daylight, um, I'm revealing myself to, to everyone that could see me. And even the fact that there could be a possibility there is still no access. So again, all I could do is, is continue checking it out and see what's going on. I think this was a recycling plant because I'm seeing a lot of recycling containers and I think there's a big barrel here that has a recycling logo on it I'm not sure but nevertheless I'm gonna continue taking a look around so I'm just gonna give you a little bird's eye view well not a bird's eye view but a little view of what this area looks like the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back through the little path that's there and crouch down and crawl and see if I can get around the other way it's the only way to get on the other side without being seen I'm just gonna double check everything again because sometimes I overlook ways of getting in. You see, this is pretty much nail shut. Of course, I don't recommend doing this because you could get in trouble. And I don't recommend breaking in, guys, okay? Especially the rule of thumb is if you're an urban explorer, you don't vandalize. But you usually leave it up to other people who are vandalizing, <laughs> who break in, that gives you the opportunity. So it's kind of like a conundrum. I heard a stick break. Okay. I'm gonna head back over here. So what did I tell you? You know that sometimes, Persistence pays off. And you want to know why? <sighs> Look at this. Oh my God. We have access. <sighs> okay. It's extremely dark out here. Which means I'm going to need to get out my flashlight. But you can actually see me a bit down here. Oh man, okay Mo Sarji, I promise you a location, this is it, okay? This deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? I want at least a thousand smashes on that button, man, okay? Because I've been at this since 4.30 this morning, okay? It's already like almost one o'clock right now. Actually, just let me check my, my watch. <sighs> Look at that. It's 1.31. Okay, guys. <sighs> and my phone is almost dead. <sighs> but at least I got my, my camera fully charged. Oh, wow. There's all kinds of fucking places. Oh, excuse my language, guys. There's all kinds of places in here. I haven't even gone anywhere yet. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just take a pause. I need to grab my flashlight so that I can see around because it's actually pretty dark in here, okay? See you in a sec. All right, so we're gonna check out the bot, the first floor. There's stairs that go up here. I don't know if, yeah, you can see them. We're gonna go up there afterwards. Hopefully it's not too dark. There's even a room back here. Let's go back here first. Let's see if we can see anything with my light. I just hope, oh, these are bathrooms. Okay. Another bathroom. And this is where all the power breakers are. You can see. Sorry guys for the poor lighting. It's gonna be my next, next investment. All I have is this small little tiny LED light. As you can see here, this little tiny thing. This is gonna be my main power source. I think I struck gold, guys. I struck gold. I deserve some likes for this. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Check this out, guys. Oh, wow. This is one of the docking bays. And it goes on over there, too. Oh, wait a minute. No friggin' way. You can actually act snow. They got it chained. So you can't. Look. They even had toys in here. There's a pair of skis. Car seats. Oh, look at this. They even have stairs that go all the way up here. And there's a whole section on the other side too. I don't know if I can get to that, but we're gonna see. We're gonna have to have a, a coke cooler. Okay. I'm so excited, guys. You don't understand. I thought I was gonna go home today with another epic fail for you guys. And I think I delivered for you. The unfortunate part is you gotta look at me sweating like this. And it's terrible. Oh, wow. I just hope there's no f spirits or s ghosts or people got killed in here. Because I'm pretty bold when it comes to the supernatural and, and paranormal. But I have my limits as well. So, we got here. Oh, wow. Check this out guys. This is the this is the artificial ceiling right here. It's all hanging with wires. Right now I'm in this little floor space. We're just using another power box. Let me see what's in here. Can we open it? No, it's all screwed shut. This is absolutely mind-blowing. You gotta understand, everyone, that this is my first location, my first le legit location that I've managed to get in. And I was lucky that that door was open, but hopefully nobody else will find out about it, or at least the owners or the police and bar it up again. Oh, look at this, you got a coloring book. You guys got a coloring book? If you want this coloring book, I'll send it to you. I keep hitting this damn button. It's so, it's so difficult with these gloves on my hands, but I need them to protect my hands. Okay, so let's go back down. We got a chair here, I'm gonna jump up on it and take a look. Oh, oh wow, look, there's a bike in there. This place is huge. Let's see if we can get to the other side. I don't think this opens. Nope. Okay, we're gonna take a look on the other side. Okay, so we're going in this room. I don't know what's in here. It could be just office space. Please don't tell me I'm zooming again. Okay, 
So, you see here's just some more shells, some office space. I'm not gonna bother touching that just in case it might be live. Yeah, so this is where I crawled through on the other side of this. I was wondering how to get in. I had to crawl through Bob wire so I didn't cut myself. I'm gonna take some photos in here too. Just so that uh, I can post them on uh, some of the urban websites. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Now there is another place over on the other side. I hope we can get there. Okay, what's in here? Oh, just another room. Okay. Wow, this place is huge. I have a funny feeling we're not gonna be able to get in there on the other side. What's this? all flyers, all magazines. Check this out. Tons and tons of magazines. Sports magazines and stuff. Camping. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay, we're gonna take a look upstairs here and see what it has in store for us. Oh, wow. Looks like there's a kitchen up here. You know, for one second, I haven't even thought if anybody's staying here or squatting. Stable. Okay. So that's pretty much it here. Uh, I think that in order to get on the other side, I would probably have to climb through that window. Because, but because I have such a fat ass, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. And I'm still sweating profusely. I just wanna put my flashlight in my back pocket so I don't have to hold on to it. Oh, man. Okay. So, the other side, what was this side? That was just another washroom again, I believe. Yeah. Check all the wires here, the breakers and stuff. Another bathroom. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it looks like this whole other side is inaccessible. Ah, uh, there's more places to explore in here. They got a, a printer over there. I don't know what else is in here that smells mildewy. I thought there would be like a whole second floor here or a basement or something I'm getting really dirty all right so 
unfortunately, this is as far as I'm going to go. I know if you was you, Mo, you'd probably be doing hula hoops through that hole to get to the other side. That's too bad that this doesn't open. Well, I'm going to say if I wasn't alone, I would use this table to get up inside and then maybe use something on the other side to get back here. But seeing that I'm alone, I don't want to get stuck. I need somebody to help me. Help me. Yeah, I know. I'm, I, you can see it. You're fat. Well, hopefully after a little bit more of this, I'll be chiseling this body. But enough of me. I want to thank you guys for following me and having patience to watch my video. But you know what? I saved the best for last. Okay? I've been driving for hours. I've been all the ways to the South Shore, to Lachine. I even went to Katnawake. For what reason? I don't know. Came back, drove around Lachine more, got lost because construction is terrible. And then, you know what, this place, I, I came across it when I was trying to get in the first location that was barred up. And I was like, you know what, I don't really think I'm gonna be able to get into this place. Lo and behold, I was able to. Now, if I can sneak around a little bit more and see if there's another opening on the other side to get in, then I'll, I'll, I'll continue recording. It'll be a bonus footage, but I don't really think so. Okay, so I want you guys to hit that like button, guys. I love you, and I want you to help support the Bernie B team and the UrbX TV. Well, you're, you're supporting me, Bernie P, okay? So love my channel. Let me know what you think. Write some right in the comments, guys. Let me let me know what you think about my first major exploration here. Okay, it's not much, but I did promise you I would get you something, and I delivered. Okay, so I'm gonna continue researching, looking up new locations, and if I can still get into some other places that you know some of you've already probably seen, I'm gonna still try and get in because I haven't been there. Okay. And also, if you're from Montreal and you know of some places, hey, let me know, okay? You got my email, go to my about page on my channel and email me and let me know. If it's a legit location, I'll give you a shout out, okay guys? So I love you. If you don't see me, if you don't see more footage after this, then peace out guys. Also, I forgot to say, if you want me to do an overnight challenge here, I want most RG to come to Montreal and do an overnight challenge with me, okay? And if you want to bring your Ouija board, that's fine. I'm not going to touch it, but we can do an overnight challenge here. And if I can find some more places for you to encourage you to come back down this way, then we're going to do it, okay? All right. I love you guys. Cheers.